I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to set the distance of the stopper face in a flute head. Um, I'm dealing in this video with cylindrical flute heads for simple system flutes, not for flute heads with a berm taper. The process is the same, but you can't get the default setting in quite the same way because of the taper in a berm head. Um, but with a simple system head, like this with a, a tuning slide. You just need a, a piece of dowel or a cleaning rod or a, a pencil will do, a full length pencil. And you, if you hold it up like this and you put a fingernail or, or even just your finger actually will do against the side of the tube and you bring your rod in so that you've got the one end just level with the edge of the tube exactly. And then with it there, if you do it like this against a nail, it's a little more accurate, but it, you don't need to worry about it that much. You just press it down onto the edge of the metal tube and uh, you can rotate it while pressing down and you'll get, I don't know if this is going to be visible, but you'll get a nice groove around the rod. Um, you can, if you want to, then mark it in with a pen like that. You should be able to see that now, if I can get the light right. Yeah, so there you are. So you've now got a mark that's the same length as the diameter of your head liner tube. And that's the default distance for setting the stopper from the centre of the embouchure. So you put the rod up inside the tube and you get the line, so it's bang in the middle, just by eyeball, of the embouchure hole. And you adjust the stopper until that's where you've got the line. So if I do this one. Okay. You can see, hopefully, that it's not quite in the right place. I need to pull the stopper out a bit further by screwing the crown and there we are. That's more or less in the middle. So that that's your default position. From there you have to go through a process of putting the flute together and testing the octaves at the first you tune the flute with, with the with the tuning slide. Um, find your, your setting at which you're, you're, you're on A440 or whatever your reference pitch is. Um, and then you need to see whether, when you overblow octaves on D and G, whether the octaves are in tune. Um, if they're not, then you have to adjust the stopper. Um, if the octaves are too wide, you need to pull the stopper a little further out. If they're too narrow, you need to push it a little further in. And you'll also find that it very, very slightly adjusts pitch. So you'll have to readjust your tuning on the tuning slide. And you do that process until you've got the uh, result that you want of tuning, of being in tune at reference pitch with equal width octaves. And um, there's one other option that follows from that which is that if you're only going to play in the bottom two octaves you can pull the stopper a little further out uh, this distance we found on on most 19th century concert flutes will be between 18 and 19 millimeters um it's this one just for interest this one is yeah it's 19 mil approximately um you might want it to be just a little bit further than that. Now you can either mark on uh, a 21 mil or a 22 mil mark yourself. You can measure it, um, or and and then adjust the stopper until that's in the centre. Or you can just do it by eye, roughly two millimetres further out on here, so your line won't actually be in the centre. It'll be just a little bit off to one side, but you you can eyeball that um, because. If you have the stop a little further out, you might find that the, th the octave widths are, are a little too narrow, um, but you get much stronger low end of the bottom register. Uh, it makes the third octave a bit harder to access. 
um, if you want the opposite effect and you're going to play lots of really high stuff, you could push the stop in a bit further than the default setting. That would make the third octave easier to get um, and sweeter, but it will weaken the low register. So that's setting a flute stopper in a simple system head. The tuning process is the same in a boom head, but the because of the taper, the correct default setting of the embouchure face of the um, stopper face is around about 17 millimeters and you can't measure that from the end of the tube because the tube expands you have to just measure that onto a stick if you haven't got a stick with it already marked on but the the tuning process is then the same one hope that helps